Welcome. This Blue Water Trader video is going to show the basics of trade placement on a trade chart. So from the symbol manager, I'm going to right click my market listing and I can open up a trade chart from either the simulation or the live section. So I'm going to start out with a simulation trade chart. My chart opens up. Once it's open up, I can do some different scaling on it if I want. I can make it bigger. I can change the spacing between there. So before I can place a trade, I need to first pick out an account that I want to trade and I have to specify a lot size that I want to trade. So it's on zero now, I have to put it up to at least a one lot. Initially, it's not in trade mode yet. I just have a regular crosshair here. So if I right click in my trade chart, I'll get a menu and the first option there is to switch to trade mode. If I left click on that, now my crosshair either says buy when I'm below the current price or sell when I'm above the current price. If I left click, I'm going to place a working limit order at that price. So I left click here. So now I have an L for limit one lot at this price to buy. I can left click it and amend it to a new price up or down. If I go and put one above market here, I'll have a sell limit. L1 at this price. Once again, if I left click, I can drag or drop it to a new price. I also have an X. These are to cancel. So if I click on the X, I can cancel and remove that order. If I want to place something other than a limit order, my left click order type, I can go to a price level and right click. And I'll see the different order types that are available to me. So stop, for instance, if I left click stop, now I have a working sell stop order here. So S for stop, one lot at this price. And it's intelligent. It knows that if I want to put a stop below the market, it's a sell. If I right click above market and choose to place a stop, it will be a buy stop order. So it's intelligent. It knows that you want to place a resting order. So if I hit X, I can close those out take them off the table. If I put on a buy limit and I bring it across here to force it to fill, now I've filled an order. So I have a position, I'm long one. AP stands for average price. So this is the price from which I am long. At this point, I can get out of that trade a couple different ways. I could put on a manual order to offset it. I also have some different options over here on the trade bar. So one would be to flatten. Flatten is going to execute a market order to offset my position. It's also going to remove any working orders that I had if I did. So even if I had some other working orders out here, if I hit flatten, it's a market order to offset my position and it wiped out my other working orders that were on the table. It's to clear the board. Cancel all does not place any order. It just removes working orders. So if I had a number of different working orders out here and I just wanted to clear the table, I can hit cancel all and I can remove all of those working orders. Something that is unique to the trade chart is that I can flip it from live to sim. So if I right click here and go to trade chart, I can switch from sim to live. So right now I'm in sim. I've got my green trade bar. If I left click live, I can swap it out now. So same market, same expiration, but now I have one of my live trading accounts rather than my SIM ones. If I wanted to swap back, right click, trade chart, SIM, and I've switched back to the SIM mode. So on the fly with the trade chart, you can switch between the live mode and the SIM mode from that right click menu. If I wanted to put on a safety and not place any more orders, I could go back to chart mode. So now I have my regular crosshair. I'm not going to place any orders in this circumstance. So those are some of the basics of placing trades on a trade chart, either left clicking to place an order at price, or you can use some of the trade bar options like the market order buttons or the flatten and cancel all to help manage some of those orders as well.